face me and gotta do nothing crazy see all i want you to do is be my love what's up y'all welcome back to my channel um so we're gonna be reacting to this video and it's the strippers start a church wearing lingerie in the choir stand i really want to see what this is but y'all know like comment subscribe down below we are going to be doing some reaction videos so whatever you want me to react to go ahead and let me know down below and yeah so let's go ahead and get started with this video it's not uncommon to see black women especially in african-american dominated cities to be either the pastor or the co-pastor or even the first lady that is not what's uncommon here what's uncommon is a woman pretty much making a threat to another woman over the pulpit and what i'd like to do is to play the video right now to put it into context this week was a week of hell it was hell i never knew i could go through so much hell trina it was hell the woman from atlanta that tried to come in between me and my husband hold on so do y'all see the title it says i'm anointed but i'm a different kind of first lady i'm coming for that a s s you know what i'm i'm done y'all okay let's see what's going on Ooh. to go ahead and make that threat over the pulpit especially at a church that you are a leader or at least a part of the leadership team. So that's one thing. And to be fair to her, she did apologize. Mm -hmm. But this is something also happening with black women in these churches. I've also seen this particular situation where you have a group of ladies who are what I would consider just up as IG models or women who are in, let's say, lingerie, um, some of them could even look like what you would call strippers and they have these red roses and they are turning up in church yeah and this lady here has to let us now i don't want to really play the music and get a copyright but this is something that you're also <laughs> seeing is this what we lay in at church now and the ladies are looking you know really provocative they have their cell phones out and astonishingly enough these are not like young women right all these young all these women are at least 40 and up which would mean that they've grown up in church where it was more traditional they've grown up in churches where things like this don't happen and you know all the nine right and and let me just talk about this because these ig models are older models and things like this here's what the Twitter post said from the lady who shared this video, women, women are running these churches into the pits of hell. Let me, you see, let me kind of break this thing down. Whether somebody feels that women are running the churches into the pits of hell, I don't really want to talk about that because that could be somebody's opinion and whatever the case can be. But here's what I will tell you. Women do dominate the black church. All right. And when women dominate something, I've noticed in America is that you start to see, or this is as any group, you start to see things favoring them so much so that you can't criticize what's going on. So because black women support the church so much, and I'm not saying that every woman is, is more or less to have their spin on what they feel is happening. And again, like I, I talk about it all the time, let me give you an example of, of, of what I mean here on this uh, Kendra G clip, right? There is a lady who has never been married, but she wants to get a God-fearing man, even though she's never been married to a God-fearing man, but she wants to be married to one, although she has, like, kids out of wedlock. Let me play that clip. So you have any kids? I do. I have two boys. My oldest is 12. My youngest is one. You have a one-year-old? Yes. What is about the same man? Yes. This wasn't working out. Long so when story, is y'all break up? In 2021. Okay. Um, have you guys ever been married? No. 
No. Um, God fearing, absolutely. He has to be God fearing. And what I mean by God fearing is like, you know, your Bible, um, you know, what is not, don't try to use it to manipulate me and get me to do what you want. Like you actually practice. Granted, we're all going to fall short because um, I'm not perfect and I'm not going to ever make it seem like I'm just the perfect Christian. However, I have to be a good role model, although their father is in the picture. He's an amazing father. So you, 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 you see, that's like having your cake and eat it, too. It doesn't really, for a man, make a lot of sense to say that when you are kind of doing whatever you want to do as a you. Okay, so he feel like, okay, so we just seeing how he feel. And you're not really following the rules. That's just me personally. But this whole situation with these ladies who are going to church and they're wearing whatever they're wanting to, and they look like, I don't know, IG models or strippers, it doesn't seem like these particular ladies are trying to set themselves apart. And that's something that Christianity really preaches on that you should set yourself apart and be different from the rest of the world. It looks like quite the opposite. It looks like what they're doing is something that you can find in a Glorilla video or at the club. They're just making it the church service. And, and the reality is, is that who can come out and check them? Like nobody can come out and say these things about black women because in the black community, there's a big price to play for talking bad about black women. That's why a woman made this post because no man can come out here and criticize this, especially if you're a man that has a job. But here's what you've noticed. What no men in that church, right? And you shouldn't expect to find none either. And that's where men strike back. You see, women can do whatever they like and whatever they feel is plausible. And you know, if they think it's serious or foolish or whatever, it's up to them. But that doesn't mean that men are going to go ahead and back it. And and for this, I agree. I think it is what they're doing largely is very dis disrespectful. Disrespectful to, number one, themselves, and also the religion that they say that they're practicing. And it's very difficult for somebody to get out there and act like that and take it serious. It's pretty much like a church service for strippers or IG models or whatever else. But hey, if they like it, I love it. Guys, what do you think? It's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. I appreciate you for all that you do. Okay, so that was his take on the church of lingerie. Um, I mean, they had on their red dresses. I mean, it was, it wasn't no man in there. So I guess they just was having their fun. What y'all feel about it? How you, how y'all, what, what y'all think? Y'all think he was right in what he was saying? Um, comment down below. And like I said before, whatever it is that y'all have some like videos you want me to react to, um, let me know. Okay. And I get it, you know, but anyway, thank you for watching my video and I'll be back with some more video reactions. Bye.